They bring light and fresh air into our homes every day. But have you ever really given a second thought to your windows? Homes have had windows for thousands of years, but a sash window like this is relatively new. It's only been around for about 350. At one time, glass was a luxury, and taxes were levied on every window in the house. Windows were so valuable that people stored them for safekeeping, and they took them with them when they moved. That's no longer the case, as people nowadays love to fill their walls with windows. Even though windows have evolved a lot in recent years, they still basically operate on the same principle. And a double hung window is the most popular window in the United States. They call it a double hung because it has two moving parts, an upper and a lower. And they both move independently of each other. What was revolutionary about this window is that it could stay open in any position without the help of any pins or locks. And that was accomplished through counterweights that are hidden in pockets on either side of the window. A modern window does the same thing, but it uses springs or tension instead of weights. Windows have their own vocabulary, and if you ever need to repair or replace a piece, it's helpful to know all the names. These two moving parts right here are called the sash. It comes from a French word that means frame. This interior shelf is called a stool. Sometimes people call it a sill. But this is the sill right here, an exterior shelf that's sloped to shed the rain. And the frame right here on the sides and the top are called the jams. And the piece of wood that holds the sash in the opening, those are the stops. And on an old window like this, they can be adjusted. You can tighten them up in the winter for air sealing or loosen them up in the summer so the window goes up and down nice and smooth. But a window's not a window without the trim. Pieces on the right and left are called the side casings, and originally they were designed to hide the counterweights. And along the top is the head casing. And this piece underneath the stool is called the apron. So those are the parts. And maybe next time you look out your window, you'll start looking at your window.